big one. This is uh, season two of uh, reviews. Thank you for the support in my last video where I ranked all of the albums that I reviewed so far. I wasn't even expecting that video to do good, like at all. I thought I, I legit thought it was gonna get like maybe a hundred views because people, like I don't know how many people are devoted to what I think. But yeah, I'm considering this uh, season two because uh, once I'm done with another 40 albums, I'm gonna do some other kind of ranking that involves those 40 and maybe the 40 that I did before. I don't know why I chose 40. I just, I don't know. Today we were listening to uh, Godspeed Use Black Emperor's Skinny Penis. This is a long album and uh, I was recommended it a while ago and I was going to do it and then I looked at the track list and I was like, fuck no. But I finally built up the courage and I think I have enough people that would actually care for me to watch something like this. I know the genre is uh, post rock and uh, I'm super scared. I'm super scared because I hate giving analysis on like long songs because I don't like re remember things. So I do have like a little notepad that I'm going to just take notes on during songs. I'm also not going to do this all in one session. I am, I'm going to do it in one video, but I think I'm going to listen to these two songs right here and then come back and do the other two. But yeah, that's a strategy uh, for how we're going to do this. Uh, if you have any other recommendations related to any of these guys, uh, there's some other artists that I'm going to do soon too as well. Uh, I still have another Talk Talk album that I gotta do, and I'm, I think I'm gonna do some Aphex Twin as well, so I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, I appreciate all the support, uh, thank you for being here, drop any other recommendations that you have, and uh, let's get right into it. Bro, the first song is in Spanish, but yes, uh, track number one, we have, uh, what is it, Storm. <sighs> Kinda low key. I'm enjoying this a lot so far. Ooh. Oh, that violin. Oh my. This is cinematic. This is insane. Might have to lower it, this is loud. I can't even like, describe how this is like making me feel. That was overwhelming. I felt like I was running a marathon or something. This guitar riff is making me a better man. Still waiting for these lyrics to come in. <laughs> this is kind of chaotic. It's like beautifully chaotic. What? What sounds are even being used here? Oh, I love this. I love these. I love this drum pattern. Oh, 
I love how the tempo is like being brought down like ever so slightly. Ooh, that's cool. The little guitar and like the drums are like playing at the same time. Complete silence. Okay. If you jump scare me, I swear to God. Hmm. Oh, they're at a gas station. Someone's getting gas. Okay. I love I love this atmosphere because you can, you can like hear cars coming by too. Like this feels insanely real. Oh my, bro! This piano. Whose idea was this? This is insane. This is insane. That was the first song. That was the first fucking so i can't even hold on i need a second to, i need a second to process regarding the i don't even know where to start regarding the start of the, the start of the song it was nice and chill very low-key i imagine myself somewhere in a natural kind of landscape and then once the drums came in it's they, they came in kind of like a heartbeat i feel like and then once everything just kicked off it, it just like it was just going the way it made me feel was kind of like like back 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 when i used to do cross country like at the end of the race when because like, everyone always sprints at like the end of the meet uh you know you go like balls to the wall for like the last minute the emotion kind of felt like that but it lasted for like seven minutes this sounds like what i can envision like how people feel after they climb like mount everest or something like bro if i saw this live i might sh i I would shit myself like I'd, I'd have to go I'd have to go to the concert in a diaper like I would I know if you watch my videos you know how I like to try to you know analyze the, the production you know just try to like comprehend everything going on but that was just beyond my comprehension how does somebody even like compose this you know what I'm saying like how, I wasn't even thinking about like a gas station you know what I mean and, like I, I really felt like I was at one and I'm I cannot believe that this is the first song because honestly it really did feel like a storm it felt like i was in the middle of a fucking tornado okay track number two is static Ooh. those sound like train like train horns but they go along like with the instrumental that's interesting This is not too kind on the ears. And so the path to the great corridors, these are corridors unto his perfection, that is, which the prophet, the Urim and Thummim, has penetrated. This is scary. The heavenly child, there'll be prayer on you this day of night. There'll be a song of jubilee waiting for your king. There will be nothing you will look, be looking for in this world, excepting for your God. Feels like I'm in some kind of like death waiting room. Like the preacher's talking about death and now like death has happened and now like Sounds like purgatory. The 
Things are so chaotic. Dude, I didn't even know that, th that this was auditorily possible. A lot to talk about there. Probably more to talk about on that than the first uh, song, to be honest. Even though I did like the first song more, like th that was, this This had, a, I feel like a lot more story to it, maybe. First, I'm gonna talk about the ending of that track. It, it just sounded super industrial. It just sounded super like in a factory, you know what I'm saying? Like Amazon, Amazon Chinese factory, and they got the fucking nets on the sides of the buildings for, you know, reasons. The beginning of that track as well, kind of a, kind of industrial, maybe uh, kind of like that you heard like trains, the tracks, and they kind of like were like woven into the instrumental as well. They were kind of like as like an instrument. The whole track just felt like death to me. Like it just, it just felt like death. And the preacher too, I want to talk about the preacher part because I feel like that was so, I, I feel like that was done so well because the preacher sample was probably like not to like meant to be taken out of like a horror like kind of aspect, but it like with the instrumental like and like his pitched down voice, like it really did feel like fucking terrifying. And just the amount of distorted noises, like the whole second half of that track, like halfway through it just felt like i was being like falling into like an abyss the amount of changes in tempo like the amount of sound on this i don't know if i have to compare this like album to like a feeling so far it's like it's like when you nut and like she just keeps going but yeah so far that this is this is like mind-boggling I, I i didn't even know that this was like possible to do like music wise i can't even comprehend that someone like wrote this and like thought about this like like you have, like this is the kind of music that like you got to sell your soul to make like this is wild so yeah we're gonna take a little break and then come back later and do disc two all right we are back after a um substantial amount of time and we're gonna listen to uh disc two uh track and one is uh sleep i should be sleeping right now of the world there was no place like it in the whole world coney island I was very small, I even got lost in Coney Allen. But aged. Let's see. Ooh. They don't sleep anymore on the beach. Ooh. Ooh, a little guitar. I kinda like that. This is so like grand. I'm so intense. Something is like screaming in the left channel. What? What 
is happening? That drum roll was amazing. Bro, what the fuck is happening? This is so beautiful. Bro, I can't fucking do this shit. Fucking terrifying. To me, that was the best song yet. Uh, that that just felt like, wow. I gotta go to Coney Island. I can't even explain how what was even happening in that track, man. It just felt like the whole track was just fucking screaming at me for like just 20 minutes. It was definitely filled with like a lot of nostalgia, you know, and horror at the same time. This this song and you know, it's just specifically this album. Like, I've never heard is like just the whole concept of like building songs up just like done so well before like ever like that climax might have been the best climax i've ever heard on the song i think i climaxed during that right, final track on the album second track on disc two is uh kind of like a title track a little bit uh we have like antennas to heaven this is a little different Man, I love drones. I love drones. They speak in French. I could fall asleep to this, I'm not gonna lie. This is nice. This is nice. Scare the fucking shit. Okay. It's like being outside in the wind. You know, very windy. Can I sleep again, bro? I, I, I'm actually... This is putting me in a nice state before bed. Literally, this is literally me. This is 
insane. This is insane. This shark is like a roller coaster, man. This is unlike anything I've ever heard before. It hurts my ears. That was a very weird track. Very weird track. I think a playing with the whole theme of this album in my head now you know of someone just having kind of an antenna to heaven and i i think this antenna is kind of related to the kind of radio signals that i've been hearing on this album different kinds of broadcast sounds i think maybe maybe related to that kind of topic you know related to death and related to heaven just how it's how it's so far away you know and that's you know, that's the haunting aspect of it, of how far away heaven is. This album was incredible. One of those things that I wish, you know, NASA would just throw into space. I wish I, I wish NASA would just throw a vinyl into space of this album because I, think, I feel like this is a good ass representation of human civilization. It just sounded beautiful front to back and a lot of sounds that I couldn't even comprehend just colliding with each other, you know what I mean? I, I felt like if a supernova was a fucking album, that this would be the album. You know, taking years and years to build up, and once it just explodes, it's, it's crazy. I'm speechless, to be honest, about this whole project. I have to listen to it at least 40 more times. And it's crazy, because, like, this actually has, like, replayability. Like, I would actually go back and, like, listen to Sleep, like, all the way through. Same with fucking Storm. And I love the atmosphere that's painted on almost every song. It, it's so visceral. And it's so like realistic and you, you can just really imagine yourself there and you know just in it to be honest But I feel like this album was kind of just like a baby like just going through the courses of life That's kind of how I felt towards it and I, and, and I feel like the ending was kind of like a, it was kind of like death to be honest But yeah, those are my thoughts on it, man Honestly, I might have to do a whole another analysis for this later down the road because I feel like I'm so clueless But yeah, uh, that's the album those are my thoughts on it. If you have any other albums that you, you want me to listen to by uh, Black Emperor, Godspeed You, whatever, uh, just drop it in the comments and I'll probably get to it eventually. If you have any other recommendations related to any other artists as well, feel free to leave them, leave them down there. And yeah, I will catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching and uh, have a good one.